fear and to hold is to have. It's nightfall. Welcome, dear friends. Frederick Hent, your tutor in tonight's grave lesson in human relationships. Do you have a daughter? Wouldn't you do just about anything to help her in a time of crisis? Of course you would. But what would you expect in return? Hmm? In Beauty's Beast, tonight's story, written by Burke Campbell, we are treated to a look at a father's love and a daughter's gratitude. Listen, as tragedy turns into tragedy. The store is now closing. Thank you for shopping with us. We hope you've had a pleasant day and found exactly what you were looking for. Let's see. You gave me 20... 10, 15, 20. Uh, don't forget your parcels, dear. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm such a rush. Gloria? Dearest child, how are you? Mrs. Lawrence, hello. Shopping, I see. They have the best cosmetics here, don't they? Yes, they really I do. I need to do more shopping, but they're closing. Oh, it's depressing. Now I'll have to go home to my husband. <laughs> Tell me, dear, how's your charming father? Oh, he's fine. Mrs. Lawrence, I'd love to talk, but I've got to run. It's my first class in modeling. Modeling? I... Yes. Oh, well, boys is important. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Lawrence, I've really got to go. I I'll let you know how my class goes. Is this Dr. Mandrake speaking? Uh, this is Dr. Hill at Wellesley Hospital. Yes, Dr. Hill. Uh, what is it? I told the police that I'd contact you myself. I'm afraid your daughter was involved in a car accident. An accident? When? How? Can you come to intensive care? Of course. I'll come at once. Victoria, where is she? Yes, She's lost quite a bit of blood. She's receiving a transfusion. Uh, oh, my God. Now step outside with me. Dr. Tatum will handle things here. Will Dr. Durenfeld report to Station B? Dr. How did this happen? She was jaywalking. The driver didn't see her. I'd spoken with her earlier. She was so excited about going she to Los Angeles. She through. I realize you're quite upset. We're doing everything we can. Her face. My daughter doesn't have a face. This way, Dr. Mandrake. Thank you. Dr. Mandrake, this is Dr. Tatum. Hello. Hello, Dr. Mandrake. We've heard a great deal about your recent work. Thera Clinic certainly deserves this reputation. Oh, thank you, Dr. Tatum. When we first founded Thera Clinic, many of my colleagues thought we were operating a high-class health spa for bored housewives, <laughs> didn't they? I guess that's not the current opinion. Dr. Mandrake, as you know, we'd like your opinion on this case, not only because Victoria is your daughter, but because you're as much an expert in bone restoration as Dr. Tatum or I. Mm. Yeah. Let me show you the x-rays. <clears throat> Extensive damage to the zygomatic arch, left and right. Mm -hmm. Mandible fracture, also the maxilla and the nasal septum. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, as you know, at Thera Clinic, we've had quite a bit of success with sonic treatment. Over the past ten years, we've found that sound vibrations have been useful in restoring damaged muscles, as well as facilitating the mending of fractured bones. Mm -hmm. Dr. Madrake. We've seen some of your published reports regarding this treatment, but I understand it to be still in the experimental stage. I would say that it's safe for general use now. Furthermore, I suggest that Victoria be moved to a Thera Clinic so that I may begin treatment at once. Uh, Dr. Mandrake, this is impossible. I agree with Dr. Tatum. I don't see why Victoria can't receive treatment here. Our facilities are inferior among the... to those at Thera Clinic. I am sure your abilities are adequate. My concern is for my patient. I take full responsibility for my daughter's health. And, uh, with your consent, I am now her physician. Father, I'm... And now everything's going to be fine. Victoria, relax. 
Oh, Father. It won't hurt. It's just sound. Just as you hear on the radio. <laughs> now, did the injection hurt? No. Good girl. Now, close your eyes and think of that sandy beach in California you want to be on right now. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Seagulls overhead. Little waves, one after the other. Close your eyes and dream. Oh, I'm so tired of all this. I know you are. Lie back. We have to continue the treatment, Victoria. If I could just see what I look like. Don't worry, you will. But not until you're completely healed. Tell you what, can you reach over? I'll pull the machine closer to you. Yes? The blue lever there. Raise it. That's right. Now the yellow dial. Turn it. Set it on frequency number three. What do you feel? Vibrations. In my face, legs, on my ribs. Could they be made stronger? Yes. Well, let's try it a little bit higher then. Up to five. Ah, oh, that's very good. It'll speed things up. Let me give you the injection. Now, close your eyes and think of faraway places. Seagulls, blue waves, one after the other. Now, you mustn't be frightened. I can't believe it's over. Just one more bandage. Ah, uh, please, don't move. No more bandages. You can touch your face. I promise you, it won't melt. Oh, it feels so strange. Wait, I, I get the mirror. Yeah? Uh, no, no, no. I'll hold it. Now, look. My face? Yes, it's yours. Oh, I look beautiful. You always were beautiful. But not like this. She's perfect. It's not she, it's you. Darling, it's you. Oh, it is me. Of course it's you. My dearest, you're well again. I never thought I'd be able to look in a mirror again. I never thought I could start over. Oh, my darling, the nightmare's over. Oh, Father, how can I ever thank you? Stop being such a good patient and go home. Oh, I love you, you know that. I love you too, Victoria. You don't mind if I uh, Yeah, that'd be great. No, that'd be great. Yeah, hold it. Hold it. Are you a photographer? That's right. Yeah, one more. One more. Just don't move, okay? Not everyone with a camera is a real photographer. I know. Do I get any of these? Well, I'll have the contact sheets by tomorrow afternoon. Here's my card. Why don't you call me? I haven't seen you before. Do you come to many of these openings? This is the first one I've been to in a while. <laughs> Have you exhibited yours? Uh, Jeff. My name's Jeff. Uh, I'm Victoria. Hi. Uh, well, I, I've never shown here, no. Uh, I had one fairly successful show in Ottawa and then Kingston. Is your last name Banner? That's right. Are you sure we've never met? Toronto's a big city. Toronto's a duck pond. Everyone knows everybody. And I certainly would remember someone like you. Well, I've been very antisocial lately. It didn't go out much. That's wonderful. <laughs> Do you want to dance? Why not? <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't think I've danced this much in the past year. Want to stop? No, not at all. I think they have just run out of wine. Oh, that's the signal then. No one stays past the last drop of booze. <laughs> There's a place still open here where I live, but we can still get a drink there. Sounds good. Think we can catch a cab? I brought my car. We're sick. Oh, oh, this must be the coldest night of the year. This car is incredible. It's a present from my father. It was a get well, a sort of birthday present. Is something wrong? No, I was just thinking. It's kind of late. My father must be wondering what happened to me. <laughs> I'd say you're a bit old for parental guidance. I still live at home. 
And things are best if I slip in before dawn. Of course. But uh, the sun isn't coming up for about uh, six hours or so. Unless, of course, you'd prefer to go home. No, not really. Not at all. If I'm not mistaken, you're the one in the driver's seat. I believe you're right about that. Then I trust you not to take advantage of my situation. Hmm. And you're opening a clinic in the States soon. Mm, in Los Angeles, for a start. Well, I must say I'm impressed. Really, Dr. Mandrake, I've known you all these years, and of course I knew about Theraclinic, but it is divine. It's definite, then. First two weeks in April. Absolutely, I can't wait. Oh, it's less than a month off. I had my doubts about all these promises to make people look younger, but after I saw Victoria, mm -hmm. when I saw her at the Stillman's party two weeks ago, I decided then and there to contact you. Oh, but tell me, who was that darling young man she was with? That photographer. I, I'm afraid I don't really know. Oh? Victoria makes friends easily. I'm sure he was just someone she met that evening. Oh, it seemed like so much more. They danced until it was quite late. They make such a handsome couple. Mrs. Lawrence, Victoria will be leaving for California soon. I'm sure that's a much more suitable place for romance, eh? Victoria? Father, I didn't think you'd be up so late. I'm having a nightcap. Will you join me? Sure. Sounds great. What will you have? Scotch? Good idea. Uh, for you, my dear. Thanks. To your future, dearest. Cheers. Cheers. I'm not going to pry, but... His name's Jeff. Jeff. Good, solid man. He's a photographer. I'm surprised how long it took me to realize you were seeing someone. Did you imagine I wouldn't approve? No, not that. I, I don't know why I didn't introduce you. God knows the one thing I want is you to be independent. It's just that I... Ah, never mind. Here. Yeah. I have a present for you. So that's why you waited up. Open it. A key? To your rented house in one of the most exclusive areas of Los Angeles. A place all to yourself. I thought you'd be pleased. Oh, I am, really. You don't look very pleased. Yeah, I thought you'd be looking forward to the West Coast, all those parties. I'll visit you often. Thera Clinic will be opening there soon, and I'll have to come down on business in any case. Eh? But Jeff's here. I have to deal with that fact. Oh, how do you know that Jeff's not going to wind up in California, too. Perhaps I should meet this new friend of yours. Oh, I think you'd like Jeff. All right. I'd like to meet him. Tell him to come by the clinic on Thursday, one o'clock. Oh, I have a wonderful father. Well, I want my daughter to be happy. My beautiful, beautiful daughter. And I think it's about time I met the man she's so fond of. It was a heated swimming pool. It doesn't feel that way, does it? Oh. Why do you come here to swim anyway? Because I'm a member. I belong to this club. <laughs> it's just that you said they have nicer facilities at their clinic. I like swimming with people my own age. Is that so? I get the impression you've been keeping me away from your father until he appointed out. Really? You make it sound like he's into human sacrifice. He's not a <laughs> monster. He's much more open-minded than most parents. Mm. He's never judgmental. Then why all the secrecy in my case? I don't know. Oh, I, I don't understand sometimes. Hmm? He wants me to be free and hmm? independent and self-sufficient, but half the time I feel caged. I feel like I'm hmm? something he made. Well, we're normally made by two parents, you know. That's not exactly <laughs> what I meant. Well, whoever made you. I still love you. Very much, when I think about it. <laughs> you look kind of neat that way. What way? Blue mm. with goosebumps. <laughs> Cold? Scared. About what? Don't know. Things. Nothing. Come back to my place. Jeff, are we going to stay together? Sure thing. Cross my heart and hope to die. Promise? Promise. For good? For good. Oh, I had no idea.
idea you ran an operation this size, Dr. Mandrake. I could train for the Olympics here. <laughs> it was very costly. But with our weather in Canada as difficult as it is, everything has to be indoors. How much does it cost to stay here? Oh, 2500 per week is our standard fee. That's a lot. It depends on your lifestyle. Believe me, Jeff, if you were in a profession where your appearance were important, 2500 would really seem quite small to you. And this is my office. Very nice. Sit down. Very, uh, very elegant. You see, Jeff, I began as a general practitioner. But as we started to specialize in the area of health research, we saw the need for a place like Thera Clinic. You see, the human body is 80% water. And we found that by sending vibrations through the body at the right frequency, mm. uh, well, to put it in layman's terms, sort of like sending waves through the ocean, it alters everything in the ocean. Like changing the pulse itself. Exactly. Like changing the speed of life. And more recently, we've designed a drug that works with the sound so that the whole process can be drastically speeded up. <laughs> Incredible. It sounds a bit like science fiction, doesn't it? No, 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 not at all. Medicine's much more a matter of engineering than anything else. So, do you think that one day you could stop people from growing old? Uh, we can never stop the aging process. We can certainly slow it down. Nothing's far-fetched these days. No, I guess not. Of course, it's had its price, even in one's private life. My work here took me away from my family. My wife couldn't handle the fact that it took up so much of my time. We separated over it. I'm sorry. Well, I've always had Victoria, though. She's kept me going all these years. Yes, uh, I can appreciate your feelings. I want you to know that that I love your daughter, too, and I... Of course. Well, why is that so hard to believe? My daughter is going out of the country to California. Look, <laughs> I don't want to interfere with Victoria's life. You wish to blind her with your promises of eternal devotion. That's not so. Look, no. No, I'm not going to get into an argument. I just want to How say... How much do you want? What? <laughs> Name your price. Ten thousand, fifteen... Here's a check for $15,000. It's worth it to me. We can be civilized about this. I said I love your daughter. I don't take money. You're making me very angry, Jeff. I knew it would be a waste of time coming here. I just knew that you'd turn out to be some rich doctor running a high society fat farm. Let's stop being polite, shall we? I met Victoria. I liked her. Now I love her. Is that so weird? Victoria finds you amusing. A diversion. She'll tire of you. I just don't choose to wait. <laughs> Do you honestly believe you're the first? Oh, Jeff, she said quite a number of things. I assure you, you won't be the last. No, she loves me. <laughs> no, she doesn't. Well, why don't you ask her? Miss McElveen, tell Tom and Lark to come to my office at once. Why don't you ask her? I already have. And what did she say? Yes, Doctor. Yes, Please. Escort this gentleman to the elevator. Yes, the hell? Hey, get your hands off. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. But I haven't yet shown you our underground research center. I'm sure you'll find it interesting. Oh, oh, no, no, no. You really are an annoying boy, James. I'm sorry to inconvenience you there, Doc. Why don't you just call your apes off? Because you just run away and cause me more trouble. Damn right I would. Undress him. Just why is that? What is this all about? Oh, don't worry. I'm just going to give you a physical examination uh, to see that you're in perfect health. Yeah, I'm in great shape. And if you tell these apes to let go of me, I'd show you. Put them on the table. Yes. Oh, God, I'm fine. I went to the doc last month. It's important to examine the specimen before any formal testing. What are you testing, doc? You made one mistake, Jeff. And that was Victoria. My daughter's not going to throw her life away in the likes of you. And you'll decide that, will you? Make sure he's securely tied. Well, what the hell do you think you're doing? Won't you do any good to resist? You'll only hurt yourself. That's so. That'll do. I'll handle this myself. Thank you, gentlemen. That will be all. Yes, doctor. Yes, sir. This isn't a very fair fight, is it? <laughs> fair? I'm sure there's nothing very fair in this world. Young man, and I use the term temporarily. What? Young man... Do you think Victoria will want to marry someone 60 years her senior? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, you could cause trouble for me, as you say, if you were 30 years old or 40 or even 60. But you'll be over 80 very soon and quite senile. What are you talking about? Your hair will begin to turn gray. Here! Ow! And Get then me. all oh. over. Your hearing will begin to fail and your eyesight may begin to cloud. You're crazy! People will look for me. Oh, for you, yes. At your present age, they won't be looking for the 80-year-old man you will become. You think you scare me, don't you? 
It uh, hardly matters. Please don't struggle. I'm only giving you an injection there. You see, the very treatment that can hinder the aging process can, when properly administered, actually speed it up. Use. Most medicine is like that. I'm so impressed. Well, you should be. It's remarkably painful. No! No! Ah! Victoria, you're going to have to eat. How can you expect me to eat? I don't want to have this conversation again. People just don't disappear. He can't just have disappeared. He didn't disappear. When he came to the clinic, he mentioned, amongst other things, that he was really glad about this new assignment, photographing up north. He would have let me know. He wouldn't have vanished like that. One's profession comes first, my darling. Now, please have some of this delicious roast beef. Hmm? Who was the assignment with? I don't know. He just said an assignment. Now, don't make me angry. He'll be back soon. I think he said he'd be gone ooh, a couple of weeks. Of course, I do think it's quite rude of him not to call you. I, I don't understand. Are you sure he said he had a job? Do you think I'm making all this up now? Do you? You didn't like my seeing him. That's not true. I just didn't want you to throw away your plans. I don't know what to do. Well, you can either waste away and become neurotic... Oh, you can start eating properly and realize that your young man will be back, just as he told me. Now, excuse me. <laughs> Charles, uh, tell Mrs. Chadwick that the roast was wonderful, as it always is. Yes, Doctor. Father, where are you going? I've got some work at the clinic I want to catch up on. It's late. No, I won't be there long. I hear there's a good movie on TV. I'll be back to finish it with you. Good night, Charles. Good night, sir. Oh, my God. Is something wrong, Victoria? No, I was just thinking... I, I might go out for a little while, but if someone phones... I I'll tell them they'll be back shortly. Thanks, Charles. This is quite fascinating. Even I'm amazed. You son of a... Yeah. Look in the mirror. I'll hold it for you. You'll pay for this. See? Now your eyes have sunken a bit. Your hair's white... This is remarkable. Even freckles on the back of your hands. Can you move them? I'll kill you. I swear I'll kill you. Oh. I'm afraid you won't kill anyone. You're too old. Can't make you much older. That would be murder, wouldn't it? <laughs> You're insane. Oh, don't be a sore loser, Jeff. We've advanced my discoveries a hundredfold. Now, you will excuse me. Have to go upstairs, check a few things. Just one last injection. Well, it's oh. not there. Now, that didn't hurt, did it? My eyes. Oh, dear me. Is the light bothering you? Here, I'll dim it. Uh, forget it, stranger eyes. Back in a minute. My God. Oh, my God. Please help me. Please, somebody. No, 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 don't. Please. I'm not going to hurt you. Yes. Are you all right? Don't hurt I'm not going to hurt you. Why are you tied down like this? They brought me here. You. Come closer. Please. Victoria. How do you know me? How do you know my name? Who are you? Jeff! I'm just going to move you into the other room. Your father's coming back. He'll hurt you. Not now. He can't. Good Lord, who turned that off? Victoria! How did you get here? No one stopped me. Did you turn this machine on? Did you? This area is... Off, off limits? We were treating one of our more difficult cases, uh, an old man suffering from senility. Uh, where is the patient? 
He's in the next room, resting. He shouldn't be moved. He's in delicate condition. I... Why are you looking at me like that? Dearest, please, please, come upstairs now. Eh? Victoria, darling, your hands are freezing. You always looked after me. You've been everything to me. I thought we were so much alike. I never even missed Mother. I loved you so much. Jeff wouldn't have come between well, what us. What are you talking about? Jeff will come back. I love him. We weren't married, but we decided to be together no matter what. Victoria, what have you done? You were always so good to me. Always. Let me look at your arm. I... What did you put in your arm? I'd like to understand. I'd like to see what you thought you were doing. Uh, uh, I don't think it was hate. Your hands. Look at your face. I know. Why? Why? I love him. You don't understand, do you? I can't help you, Victoria. I, I can't help you. 